energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. My Life Today, a devotional by Ellen White, January 8th, Doubting Nothing. In shady green pasture, so rich and so sweet, God leads his dear children along. Where the water's cool flow bathes the weary one's feet, God leads his dear children along. Some through the waters, some through the flood, some through the fire, but all through the blood. Some through great sorrow, but God gives a song in the night season and all the day long. Doubting nothing. O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Matthew chapter 14, verse 31. Life is not all made up of pleasant pastures and cooling streams. Trial and disappointment overtake us. Privation comes. We are brought into trying places. Conscious stricken, we reason that we must have walked far away from God, that if we had walked with him, we should not have suffered so. Doubt and despondency crowd into our hearts, and we say, the Lord has failed us, and we are ill-used. Why does he permit us to suffer thus? He cannot love us. If he did, he would remove the difficulties from our path. He does not always bring us to pleasant places. If he did, in our self-sufficiency, we should forget that he is our helper. He longs to manifest himself to us and to reveal the abundant supplies at our disposal. And he permits trial and disappointment to come to us that we may realize our helplessness and learn to call upon him for aid. He can cause cooling streams to flow from the flinty rock. We shall never know until we are face to face with God when we shall see as we are seen and know as we are known how many burdens he has borne for us and how many burdens he would have been glad to bear if with childlike faith we had brought them to him. God's love is revealed in all his dealings with his people and with clear, unclouded eyes in adversity, in sickness, in disappointment and in trial. We are to behold the light of his glory in the face of Christ and trust to his guiding hand. But too often we grieve his heart by our unbelief. God loves his children, and he longs to see them overcoming the discouragement with which Satan would overpower them. Do not give way to unbelief. Do not magnify your difficulties. Remember the love and power that God has shown in times past. My life today, January 8th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.